Okay, so the other day I was very critical of Crystal Palace and said they could not get out of the bottom three. Well, I think I might be proved a bit wrong today. They won 2-1. They scored in the 92nd minute to beat the City. And the table, yes, they're still bottom, but they're now a win away from getting out of the bottom three. And their goal difference is not great, but teams around them aren't looking great either. And um, I, th I think possibly if they, they keep get picking up these little results, they, they're going to get out. Um, there were goals by Loftus Cheek, which is good to see, good young English player scoring, and, and Sacco for Palace, and Stoke City equalised after 53 minutes for Shakiri. I'd be very critical of, of, of Palace this season, saying they look woeful, they look hopeless. Um, to be fair, Hodgson has got something going there. They've got several draws, and he's, he's basically under them, they've got all their points. So they've got several draws and a couple of wins. So, a couple of draws, a couple of wins. Um, actually, their form recently has been, been reasonable the last five games. So, although I've been critical and saying that teams like West Brom and Everton, the teams below them are worse, uh, I'm not sure about Everton. I'm not I'm not sure what West Ham or Swansea. I think Palace could get out. West Brom got a decent draw against Tottenham today with Megson in charge. Um, but, no, that's a damn good result for Palace considering the season they've had. Damn good result. Um, and, of course, it's not Christmas yet, so they might quite easily get out of that bottom three, put Everton, West Brom, Stoke in it. Uh, from Brighton in ninth down to West Brom, it's five points, and then six points to West Ham. Simple. So it's doable. It's doable. Anyway, I thought I'd give a little one. I hope they get out of it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.